Hey everyone, this is the Southeast Texas Gardener. It's been a it's been a minute since I've shot a video. I'm up here at my place at Rayburn, and uh, just want to do a little late summer update. I noticed today this little bird nest in my muscadine vine. The vine goes all the way over there, all the way over there. Just plant it one planted one I had two this is some remaining remaining grapes left this thing uh, puts out a lot I'm very happy with it didn't take long to get established believe it or not I still have blackberries trying to uh, you know Make one last push before they go dormant till next year. Let's see. Yeah, a lot, most of these are sun scalded. This dude might be all right. So one way to find out. How? <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Not good. All right, Prada Barbados, planted this a couple years ago, I think. I accidentally mowed it down to the ground, popped right back up, flowering, putting out some seed pod. Blueberry, blueberry. Now, I have high hopes for this Japanese plum. Real quick, that's some more, another angle of my muscadine. I planted this dude from seed. It's like, I don't know, three, three or four years. It's taller than me now. I suspect some fruit from this guy next spring. It's putting out some new, uh, new growth. Beautiful tree. This citrus, I was cutting today. Never even saw this until today. One, two, three, four. Four oranges. I couldn't tell you what type. I have no idea. <laughs> There's my uh, my tainted earth. Whatever I put there doesn't grow. That Japanese plum was put in the same time that one. And that thing never got over a foot. So I don't know what's going on with it. My persimmons. Lordy, lordy. If, things were, if these things were good, I'd be, uh, I'd be all right because I have plenty. Here's a big one. God, these rock hard. It's kind of hard to see them, but there's there's plenty of them. Of course, I think in the past I've had more. There we go. There's one, yeah. This guy here has been getting hit dead on by the sun. That one might end up rotten. But if you look, I don't know if I can see. There's a nice cluster there. There's. There's hundreds on this tree. I had to do some major pruning on my fig. Had a lot of dead wood. <clears throat> Gotta excuse the heavy breathing. Down here in southeast Texas. I think it's like 98 right now or something. I don't know. Early September. It's hot. Nothing but sweat. Plum tree's doing good. Getting ready to go dormant, I suspect. Here's another Japanese plum. This thing would do good if I'd keep, if I would stop jacking with it. Every time I try to weed eat in this area, I tag it with my weed eater, so I put some pruning spray on it. It's uh, it's gonna hang in there though. It's doing good. Gotta prune back those lantana, it's gardenia. I'll let them bloom next year and I'll chop them back a bit. Lantana's coming going down to the dirt this fall. Every year I bring that sucker down to the dirt. Springtime comes, looks just like that. Loads of uh, butterflies. Potato vine. When I'm not on the tugboat, I cut yards on the side. 
and this lady had a great big potato vine and I, I grabbed a few of those potatoes which is actually a big seed planted it right here because I thought this fence would look neat and it took off and I noticed some baby potatoes so those will drop and if I don't take them off somewhere it'll just keep going nice heart shaped leaves those are very invasive if you don't want it to take over everything you got don't plant it unless you just kind of keep it confined to a fence or let it go up a telephone pole or whatnot anyway wow it's actually not that bad in the shade right now quick update hang on real quick i got this really cool spider i don't know if you can see them uh, it's got a white back i've seen them before what black and white little crown looking abdomen pretty cool anyway all right we go